From the Golden Gate Bridge to the Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco is a vibrant, historic place for people from all walks of life. But this city is home to one community in particular, the transgender, gender non-conforming, and intersex community. My name is Renella Benzardi, and my pronouns is she and her. Well, um, I'm originally from Jamaica. I'm in a place where I'm free, I'm happy. I can do the things I wanted, which, which I couldn't do back home in Jamaica. My name is Armani. I go by she, her pronouns. I'm 27 years old. I am an intern at TGI Justice Project here in San Francisco. Um, and I receive a housing subsidy from them as well. Luisa Maria Rivera Bejarano. Uh, vengo de Guadalajara, Jalisco. Yo recibo ayuda por parte de, de GIF y también recibo ayuda por parte OTI o oficina de uh, Office of Trainers Initiatives y no nada más de ellos, también recibo ayuda de la Patrón Latinas, de Institutos Familiares de la Raza, de San Francisco Eye Foundation, uh, Transtribe, que les puedo decir, yo soy una navegadora para todas esas, para todas esas organizaciones. What makes San Francisco so special to the TGNC community is mainly because of community. Um, I feel that San Francisco itself has a diverse community for the TGNC folks. Um, and, you know, we're able to prosper here, whether it be through professional or just um, entrepreneurship, if we have our own self-development jobs. Um, and being able to relate and find a community that also, you know, have like-minded people like yourself. I am so proud to be a mayor of a city that celebrates our diversity and our rich history with our trans community. In recent years, thanks to Mayor London Breed's strong commitment to equity and the efforts of local community leaders, the city has made historic investments into transgender communities. So I'm so proud that San Francisco continues to push the envelope, continues to be put on the map when it comes to transgender rights. And the work that we've done together, including the uh, Trans Home SF and a commitment to end trans homelessness in San Francisco has truly been transformative. The first program around universal basic income for transgender people in San Francisco. We invested resources and helped to support Lion Martin in terms of all the work they're doing, but the security that they need to ensure that people can get health care and support and resources without fear of being attacked. I have been receiving the housing subsidy since June 2020. The housing subsidy has benefited me greatly, um, mainly because, you know, I don't have to worry about, like, how to manage my finances in a way that, like, may cause me to, to participate in risky behaviors. And I can definitely see it benefiting um, a lot of the, the TGI community, um, just mainly because, you know, when I was first brought into the program, me and my sister lived in a tent on Willow Alley. And it was very stressful, you know, I had never been in a situation like that before. And Miss Johnson came, Miss Janetta Johnson, had came walking down the alley. My sister was there and she grabbed both of us up and put us in a hotel room. And we stayed in hotels for probably about six months before we got our housing. And it was just like such a relief, you know, to not worry about like, the, the alley is just not like a place you want to be, you know, because it's just people just look down on you and it's just dirty and nasty and it's, it's not a safe place, you know. The program helped me in order with my bills. I live alone. San Francisco is very expensive. We need this funding to, in order to, to make our lives better and to make sure we can afford the food and the things that we need to support in our everyday life. Que el, el común denominador de esas organizaciones es la me, eh, una mejor vida y una, y una mejor situación de salud para la comunidad transgénero o género no conforme. So here at the Transgender Cultural District, um, our organization helps to preserve trans history right here in the Tenderloin. We serve the TGNC community here in the Bay Area. Um, we try to find avenues for them to grow professionally or economically, whether that be through the multiple programs that we have or the multiple pro programs that our sister orgs do have. Despite the city's notable support in recent years towards services for trans communities, the unfortunate reality is that these organizations still struggle to meet the high demand for their services. 
we know that the transgender serving organizations receive less funding than organizations doing similar work for different populations. According to a report from Funders for LGBTQ Issues, for every $100 awarded by U.S. foundations, less than five cents support transgender communities. Do I think that our organization receives enough funding from the city? Yes um, and no. Yes, because we're still doing the work. We're still at the forefront of helping the TGNC community get these things done. But no, because at the end of the day, we're still a very small team and there's a lot more opportunity within the district and other organizations that we can employ more trans and gender non-conforming people. I think what the city could do to further help the, support the trans community would just be create more funding for us. Every trans-led nonprofit in the Bay Area is at capacity and we're trying to help as many people as we can, but we don't have the funds to hire the, as many people as we can to help those people. In 2023, 586 anti-trans bills were introduced into state legislatures all over the United States. 84 of these were signed into law. Recently, right-wing extremists have been pushing for three anti-trans initiatives targeting transgender youth in California to be added to the state's 2024 list of ballot measures. We have even seen anti-trans initiatives closer to home. A school district just miles away from the California state capitol passed a gender notification policy. This means that teachers, counselors, and site administrators must notify parents and guardians when their child requests to change pronouns or identifies as a gender that's different than the one they were assigned to at birth. These types of anti-trans measures are becoming more widespread throughout the country and could lead to more violence for our community. I'm originally from Jamaica. I'm a Jamaican-born citizen. I came to the United States because of um, discriminations in Jamaica for LGBT people. Well, I came to San Francisco because I was living in New York for more than five years and the weather gets so severe and it gets so bad that you don't even want to see outside. After surviving that for like more than five years, I decided to throw the towels in and move to California, where my mom was. I moved here from Phoenix, Arizona, and it was to escape an abusive relationship that I was in. I was heavily, you know, using substances, and it just wasn't a good place to be, you know, like, you know, I just need a whole new fresh start, so. I don't even think of it like living as a trans person. I just think of it as living as me, you know, like, everywhere I go, there's someone like me. San Francisco is for me a blessing. Who has más tiene una oficina de de iniciativas transgéneros en el mundo? Who más tiene un distrito transgénero en el mundo? Pero yo tengo mi familia en México y me dice, "Vente para acá, ¿qué estás haciendo allá?" Me dijo, "No, mira, le digo, mira. Porque yo San Francisco no lo para nada. Porque aquí está mi familia. Mi familia escogida. Aquí están todos, aquí están. Algunas me quieren bien, otras me quieren bien lejos. Pero aquí están todas, ¿verdad? Aquí están todas. Para mí, esta es mi casa. Yo siempre he dicho, esta es mi casa. Dios no lo quiera y no pienso que vaya a suceder. Pero si yo me volviera a quedar sin hogar, no, sin, sin vivienda, perdón, yo sé que no voy a quedar sin hogar. Porque San Francisco es mi hogar. Yes, we had to turn away people due to lack of capacity. Um, for an example, it used to be our entrepreneurship accelerator program. In the beginning, we only could take eight people and we had over 170 applicants for that. Um, so luckily, we were able to grow from that and ask to see if we can you know, get more assistance with that. Um, so now we have 16 people. The funding, it, it opened doors. It opened a lot of possibilities. I wanted to, you know, maybe go back to school, you know, certain things I couldn't afford, I can afford it, and stuff like that. So it's a very essential program, and it's, you know, and I'm grateful. Receiving services here in San Francisco has definitely impacted me in a positive manner. It's allowed me to focus on other venues in life, such as career development and employment. It has definitely inspired me to give back to the community. Um, and you know, pursue my goal, you know, which is to open my own nonprofit and run it and support other people just like me and you know their goals in life. Mis sueños, en mis sueños, yo nunca pudiera ver a 
podía haber costeado todos los gastos que requiere una transición en términos quirúrgicos. Y gracias a San Francisco, a la ciudad de San Francisco, al Departamento del Público de San Francisco, pude completar mi transición después de más de 45 años. There is so much that we're doing here in San Francisco, and it would not happen had it not been for this incredible community continuing to push the envelope, continuing to advocate, continuing to make sure that this community is united in our fight to ensure that the support that is available, not just to the LGBTQ community as a whole, but there is a specific focus on the trans community for resources, for services, based on a lot of the challenges and disparities that continue to persist. This community represents wholeheartedly the resiliency of what it means to be a San Franciscan. San Francisco has always been a safe haven for transgender communities. The many experiences, contributions, and cultures of trans San Franciscans helped build the city's iconic history. However, given the uptick of national anti-trans sentiments, we need your allyship now more than ever. Ahora más que nunca ocupamos el apoyo de todos los aliados. We need your allyship now more than ever. We need your allyship now more than ever. Learn our stories, support local trans organizations, and share this video.